Hey, hey, everybody. Uh, it's me, Five Foot Egg. Well, welcome back to the dozen. Uh, this is episode two of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I haven't really done anything. After all, this is literally taking place right after the previous episode. I haven't stopped recording. But. Oh, what time is it? Eh, 4.46? Ooh, can't wait for dinner. Oh, wait, I gotta put on my warm doublet. Alright. So, let's get up. Oh, shit. Yeah, no thanks. I don't wanna have to fucking deal with these dumbasses. Alright, there's the Temple of Time. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to use that. Oh, wait. Isn't there a chest in here? Yeah, there is. Travel spell. Shit. Five arrows and some amber. Five more arrows. Nothing. Okay, let's continue on our little journey up to the top of Mount Hylia. Is that Mount Hylia? Yeah, Mount Hylia. So I was right. Ah, shit, gotta go around. Got that fucking lizard. More apples. Ah, there. Oh, come on. Got it. Alright, let's keep going up uh, Mount Hylia. Or up to Mount Hylia. Yeah, let's keep on doing that. There's the, uh, there's the shrine. Okay, um... The question is, how to get there? Oh, wait, isn't there a seer behind this waterfall? Okay. I always forget that. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over that way, and then I'm going to go around and then back down. Because I think that's how I can uh, get out of that. Uh, get over here. 
I can also keep Magnesis out to see if I can find anything. Oh hey, there was something over here. That looks to be a uh, chest from what I'm seeing. And that it is. Oh. What's inside? Amber. Nice. Oh, an axe. Another chest. Let's go get stasis first. If I remember correctly, it should just be right around there. Okay, so I have to go up and then around. I can just go around and then up or down. And eh, whatever works. Yeah, so it still can't get over the fact that I can hear through my. Oh, hello. Nice. Ah, shit. Uh, yeah, that should all be good. All right, let's go get stasis. Hopefully with no more interruptions. Nope, more interruptions. Oh, hello. Oh, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> fucking idiot! <laughs> The fuck was he thinking? Dude was literally a fucking dumbass. What made him think that was a good idea? Pop that chest open. Five arrows. Sweet. Alright, let's go. damage. Okay. Let's collect stasis right quickly. Oh, what the... Shit. Oh. 
So I know there's a couple things I can grab here. Uh, I know that there should be like a bow and a sword. Or a, uh, or a sledgehammer, I mean. the wrong button and stop What's inside? Traveler shield. Shit. All right. Uh, got the pot lid. Uh, I don't think I have any space. Yep, I don't have any space. Okay, drop that. Grab the sledge, switch back to this. Whoa. big brain plays from this fucking let's player along with smooth brain plays and the wise words of Markiplier oh yeah this is big brain time okay that's the third spirit orb plus stasis all right let's move on to cryonis or onus or I don't know how to say it I'm not sure if I'm going to collect all the memories or not. I might. Alright, let's get up here. Got it. Okay. I didn't get that fucking shield, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, whoops. Right in the nuts. Get out of here. Shit. Fuck! Uh, I was right up. I just had the pause. Alright, so fuck that. We're stealthing. We ain't fighting them. That's not how we roll. Okay. So 
I believe the Cryonis trial should be up here. At least somewhere up here. Ah, there it is. Oh, shit. Yeah, my OBS capture is a little laggy, but... Eh, there's just something we gotta deal with for now. the fuck happened? <laughs> Bro became an IRL smear frame. Get this cryonish. I really hope I'm not too loud for you guys because uh, I can't really change it. At least I can't. I'm not sure if I can, but I really don't want to fuck up the settings so you, you guys can actually hear what I'm saying. Then again, I have to watch the entire th the entire episode again just in case. Right, and that's uh, all of the spirit orbs. At least on the Great Plateau. With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on the on this plateau. Uh -huh. 
Extraordinary. <laughs> that means it's finally time. Link, it's finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Hmm. Imagine our next on your map, where the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Alright, let's get to the let's get to the Temple of Time. Let's see that over there. Opal, sweet. Got that shaft and whatever's up here. Oh, another ancient shaft. Ancient spring. I'm gonna go with the uh, heart container. I believe there's a ladder somewhere. Yep, there it is. <laughs> well 
Well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Boss Ramus. King Rome Boss Ramus Hyrule. I was. No fucking the way. Hyrule. <laughs> a kingdom which no longer uh. exists. Yeah, shout outs to you Point and Crow fans who, if you know who that is or what that's from. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Lo. A century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened. 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon <clears throat> were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. I'm gonna shut the mic real quick. Prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely wounded and collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight 
who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Wow. Um, that was a lot. <laughs> Go on. Here is the paraglider, just as promised. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. Hmm. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Okay, well... Let me... Drop this bow. Actually, no. I'm going to drop this one instead. Remove. Drop. Equip. Yep. Open. Soldier's bow. Sweet. Okay. So, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Five Foot Egg. Oh wait, no, I'm not done just yet. I can't forget to say this. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. It's free. Do whatever you want. I honestly don't care. It helps the channel. It helps me. If you guys have any suggestions for more games, let me know. And... I guess that's it. This is Five Foot Egg, leaving the dozen. See you later. Bye-bye.